Hey everybody and welcome back. I am Carex and I wanted to make a sort of an, a little extra tutorial to go along with the tutorial that we did on extra landscaping tools. This time it's all about the water source, uh, the water tool that is added with extra landscaping tools. We talked about this a little bit in the tutorial for extra landscaping tools, but I want to do just a quick like concise five minute tutorial or so just everything I know about this one button down here that gets added with the extra landscaping tools. Now, there's two things down here. There's two things that we can click. It's one to adjust the sea level. And I'm going to highly recommend never playing with this. And then we also have the place water source. That's what we're going to be messing around with. We are going to mess around with the move sea level at the end just to kind of explain why I recommend never playing around with this. So let's, let's mess around with the place water source. And then there's also a button over here. We can see that the things that we get here is the ability to affect the water capacity and the ability to reset the, the water to sea level. But that's across the entire map. And again, at the end of the video, we'll kind of poke around with this button and this button, but highly recommend that we just go here. We set the capacity. We can either do like a low capacity here, or we could do a high capacity, so on and so forth, right? So just for starters, let's start, start at the top here. Let's try to create, like, let's just try to, let's try, try to fill this in and make this look like a cool little waterfall or something, you know, some sort of river waterfall thing. So I usually almost always like to have the water capacity very, very, very low. Okay. And we can see once this actually drains down this way, it's just going to be going into the river and there it'll kind of equalize out. That's fine. We're not going to be able to add enough water here that it'll affect the actual mass amount of water that's in the river. But we do have this side little lake over here and we don't want this to overflow. So we're going to notice how we can fix this issue where this, for example... And let's, let's uh, make sure we pause the game whenever we mess with these water tools. So I have this on a 0 0.14 just for the top, a nice strong one at the top. And we can see, okay, this is kind of telling us where the water is going to rise to, what height the water is going to rise to. Here it might actually start to flow out the back. We don't want that. So let's just keep it low. And we can adjust this, right? We can pause the game. We can go back. We can adjust in real time and all kinds of things, right? Let's make sure that the water is going to be clearly directed out this way. It does say that it might flood this way, but there's not enough water getting pumped out to actually flood the entire map. So we're fine. It's just, it's going to flow down. One of the issues we're going to get, okay, it looks like we're getting some water. Oh, we are getting too much water overflow. We, so this water capacity was too strong. So let's just, that's fine. We can compensate for that by just lowering it down a little bit. Oh, it looks like it's actually overflowing here. So again, we, as we see these little adjustments, this is a work in progress. We can kind of sure up the little, the defenses here, so to speak. And we can smooth that out, make that look better eventually. But See, I know for a fact, we're definitely, that was just immediate. Sometimes you're always going to get a little bit of flooding when you put these down. There's going to be a little initial flooding until it kind of equal, equals out. But see, here's the problem. While this water down here is going to keep flowing and everything's going to be dandy, this water here is going to fill up. Like the water is going to keep pumping into here and it's going to keep filling. See, it's spilling over. We don't want that. How do we fix that? Well, we can add another water pump here. And let's set this one, though, to not flow over. See, we can lower this one down and see how now it's not, this particular water pump is not to flow over. This one's still set to flow over. In fact, this one's just going to keep going, going, going. But what this one will start doing, instead of pumping out water, this one's actually going to suck in the water. And it's going to maintain this water level. Now, it could be that the water capacity on this is too weak to do this, so we might need to actually increase the water capacity capacity but we should start to see this actually reducing we give it a chance here too much water is coming down let's try increasing the water capacity to like a point let's pause the game let's go in with like a point one because this up here is a point four right a point one four point fourteen but not all of the water from that is coming into here so it doesn't need to be equal this should be good. Now, that should be a little bit stronger. That should be sucking up the water a little bit more aggressively. And, I mean, we could do a little bit of a, you know, just a little bit of a touch-up here and just kind of bump that up and bump that up. We don't really want that to be that strong, though. But we can see now the water's coming into here. And either way, you know, we can clearly see that it is no longer accumulating. It is being stopped. This water source right here is gathering up the excess water 
This is actually flowing down pretty decently. I'm actually surprised. I thought we were going to actually... What you can do to make it look fuller, though, is you can add some water sources along the way. This is actually flowing really, really, really well, all things considered. But if we want this to be a little bit more aggressive down here, we could add another water source and just have that kind of continually pumping out there to kind of give it a little bit more oomph. But noticing that it's flowing over a little bit right here means that if we do that, we're going to have too much oomph for this section so let's just up this just a touch and we could continue to smooth this out and add dirt and make it look good and all that stuff right it's a constant process constant process and we can see that it's, it's not flowing out both sides here okay well i kind of want it to flow out both sides so again we could just add another water source that should start spilling out here and while we can see the water sources once we have the water tool open if we disable we get out of that menu we can no longer see the water sources and it doesn't look like we added another water source here. It doesn't look like we added a water source here unless you get really nitty gritty. If you're really looking at this, you can kind of tell that it doesn't, the physics doesn't quite adding up, that there's probably a water source here. But there we go. Like this is looking a little sparse through here, so we could actually, oh, in fact, this is actually even drying up right there. That's not good. Let's actually increase the capacity on this one quite a bit. Let's go up to like a, let's go up to like a 14 as well. Get some good water flowing out of there. So, you know, it's a process. It's just playing with it, right? So the water tool, essentially, you just keep the capacities pretty low. If you're just trying to fill, like, a sinkhole or something, if you're just trying to fill, like, a little lake, it's super simple. You know, you, uh... If we just wanted to do a little lake right here, it's, it's nice and easy. You just come in here with a little water tool. Set it to basically 0.1. Make sure it's not going to overflow. Just, just sort of grab onto it and crank it down or crank it up. And there you go. You never have to look at that ever again. It's just going to fill that up. And once it fills up, the water's going to calm itself. And it'll just have a nice little lake. Nice and simple. So here we actually have more than just a lake, though. We have kind of an interesting little water feature. And a lot of these are just kind of the nature of just babysitting this, honestly. You just kind of have to babysit these things a little bit until they work. But once, they, once they're flowing, it'll maintain that level of consistency. And this looks pretty good. So that's, honestly, guys, that's the, that's the water tool. That's the water tool, tool, right? Just adding some where you need to strengthen up the water. Um, just adjusting it so that the heights are right. Using these as suction sort of uh, suction vacuums, basically. This one's easy, basically working as a vacuum, sucking up the water. This one's allowing it to, you know, just kind of pour out in kind of a chaotic manner. And here we have just a little lake that fills it until it becomes just sort of a, a mediator there. And there you go. We have that nice little area, and it looks pretty cool. And you can do a lot of cool things. This could be a centerpiece for your city. This is a really neat little, a little design right there, right? So, if we wanted to go look at these other buttons now. So let's say reset uh, water to sea level. So let's say we want to get rid of this, right? Let's bop all this stuff. We want to get rid of this water and that water will eventually evaporate. Okay, let's let's start there. This water will eventually evaporate. So we don't have to hit this button. We just have to be patient. But if we hit reset water to sea level, remember how the sea level is low on this map? Even though there's a lot of water everywhere, that's just how they designed it. Like there's the water has had time to flow and to fill this area up, if we hit this button right now, it's going to be bad news for us, okay? There we go. There goes the water. Now the map looks awful. It looks goofy. And we're going to have to wait. Who knows? It could be 30 minutes before this fills back in. It's like, oh, no, oh, no. Let's raise the sea level, right? Let's raise the sea level, right? Let's raise it back up to where it was. Because, look, now we need to see. We need it to be high enough, right, that this area is getting water, right? Duh. Oh, wait a second. What the heck? We raised the sea level up and now we flooded our entire city. Now we flooded the entire city because no, this is where the sea level is supposed to be. That's where the sea level is supposed to be. Down here. The problem is we've reset it to that point. And because we reset it to that point, we don't have, it hasn't had the time to work through the system. The water physics hasn't had the time to fill all these crevices and everything like that. So now our city's going to look goofy for the next I don't know, maybe it could be a couple hours. I don't know, it could take a while, but eventually it will get back to where it was. But uh, we've just kind of permanently kind of messed things up until then. Now we could adjust. We're not dead in the water or anything like that, of course. But that's why I never like hitting these buttons. I never like hitting reset water 
the sea level, I never like adjusting the sea level because the map is designed to work with the sea level that it has. And, if, and it's had time to work through the kinks on, on the water physics. So by messing around, the water physics in this game are kind of intense. But we did get rid of all the water up here, guys. <laughs> we did get rid of all the water up here. That feels good. That feels good. All right, guys. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out and uh, watching this, uh, this tutorial on the water tool for extra landscaping tools. And I will see you guys in the next one. If you have questions, please leave them down below. I'll, I read all the comments for the videos. And if you have, if you want to talk to me on the Twitch stream, feel free to ask questions there. I love going on, on rants and speeches about, about these things. So I'm happy to talk through all your questions with you live on the Twitch stream. Link for that down below. But I'll have a link down below for the actual landscaping tools as well. So thank you so much, everybody, for, for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.